Well, hello there, and how are you doing today? Oh, I am so happy to hear that. And how am I? Oh, I'm still upright and above ground and breathing. Thanks be to God. Thank you for asking. I'm having a great time. Summer has arrived in England at long last. Now I can have competitions with my friend in Italy as to who's got the best weather. And today we were 26 degrees in Celsius. That's about 78 in Fahrenheit. And I understand that is what they've got in Verona. So why bother going to Italy when you can come to England for all the sunshine, eh? <laughs> anyway. Today, I've got a special flight lined up. This is going to be from Lisbon to Madeira. It's a small group of islands out in the Atlantic. It's a long flight, so forgive me for that. Interesting takeoff and interesting landing. But it's the landing that apparently is the interesting bit about this flight. Tomás Cordero, who lives in Portugal, was the one who requested this flight. And he warned me, he said, and um, he said there is a interesting approach to Madeira. Interesting approach. Wow. Well, I mean, with a challenge like that, <laughs> and I'm an old bold pilot who will fly anything, anywhere, anytime. <laughs> Well, in my dreams these days, right? So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and fly to Madeira. They've got lovely weather there and they have lovely beaches as well. Oh, by the way, the Lisbon airport is MK Studios and it's really quite good. And the uh, Madeira airport is, I think, Aerosoft. Also very, very good. So, if you're ready, then let's go on over to the flight briefing and make our flight plans and get things set up. Shall we do that? Will you join me? Good. All flights should start in the planning stage. So here we are looking at Google in this particular case, because we're not making a real flight, we're going to follow a real flight. And we can see here that on this particular date, there's a flight between Lisbon and Madeira. And it's called EasyJet U2-7609. Now, having a closer look at that, this particular one, we're looking at the historical flight. It departed from Terminal 1, but no particular gate was given. So that's all right. And here is the route that it took. Well, straight line distance, as you can see. So we basically got a departure and arrival, and in between it's straight. So let's see what the light altitude was, shall we? As ah, 35,000 feet is what this flight went at. And then there's the descent into Madeira. Let's have a look at the weather now for today and see what we're going to have. So here we are, we're starting out at Lisbon 
and it's saying that the wind is 340 degrees at 13 knots and it's varying between 300 and 360. Visibility is 10 kilometers or more, that's good. And clouds are few at 2400 feet and temperatures 25 degrees. Q&H 1018 and it's BFR. So there should be no problems with departure. It looks like it's pretty certain that we're going to be departing from runway 03. And with a possible crosswind to make it a little bit more interesting. Now over on to Madeira. And here's the island. So it says wind is 040 at 11 knots, varying between 010 and 070. Visibility 10 kilometers or more. A few clouds at 1500 feet. Temperature is 27 degrees and the Q&H is 1020. But again, it is recording it as VFR. Looking at the runway, well, I don't think there's any doubt we'll be landing on runway 05. That's the interesting one, according to our friend Tomas. So let's go into sim brief. This is clear, new, so we'll start out by putting in Ryanair. And we are 186. We are departing LPPT and arriving at LPMA. Our airframe is a B737-800 and there is our registration airframe number. We are cruise profile 6 which is standard for Ryanair. Now it's saying here that the scheduled flight time should be two hours and five minutes and it does give 03 departure, 05 arrival. We'll leave the altitude at auto for the moment and here I'm going to go and put full for passengers because we are very popular you know Ryanair 186 is always full and we have one ton of cargo, make that one ton, not 1.1. And we have a half a ton up front, half a ton behind, and that balances us out very nicely. And here's the route that it's come up with. And it says the route distance is 540 nautical miles. Let's go down here. And there's the route. Okay, going up to the top, we are going to save the flight and then we're going to generate the flight plan itself. This is what we will import into Active Sky and into P3D. Well, that's interesting. It's giving us here a cruise of 290. Now oh, that is interesting. And there's the block fuel. Wonder why so low. It says planned optimum flight level. So we'll go and have a look and have a look at the weather and well there's a uh, little bit of a weather front that we're going to have to go through. Oh well, here we go. Well, we can see why we have this particular altitude. We're bucking headwinds all the way. And here at flight level 300, which is close to the one we'll be doing, you can see these black arrows, how heavy they are with the extra tails. Well, 
Those are some strong winds. So, they wanted us to fly. Here's 340, even stronger. So, the suggestion is, if we fly at the altitude that they have given us, then we will have a smoother ride and we will be bucking fewer headwinds. And there's the flight profile. So that's what it will be then. All right, now let's go in and set up our route in Navigraph, shall we? The overlay for that and I'm going to also pin it so here's what we have to look at hmm well first of all transition altitude is 5,000 feet so ATIS is 130.35 here's the approach in the tower the final approach course is 049 and there it is it's a mandatory 2,000 feet at MA522. So at 522 down here 
we have to be no higher, no lower than 2,000 feet and the maximum speed of 160 knots, which we shall do. Airport elevation is 191, but the runway is 146. We'll need to set that in for the landing altitude. And as I say, transition altitude is 5,000 feet. So the in initial approach fix is Pilum, 3,000 feet. And then we start some steep descents to get to 2,000 feet in order to make our turn around there. And it will be a visual turn. And if we miss it, then we continue turning. And here is our missed approach procedure with the holding pattern at Monek. And here's the profile of our landing is at MA 526 and there's the final approach uh, point and then we start the descent until we get to MA 502 which will be our minimums and the decisional altitude. So looking here the decision height is going to be 500 feet that we're going to need to set into the barometric altimeter to give us the warning for minimums. Right, well we have everything that we need. So now all we need to do is go on over to stand 106 in Lisbon and let's show you where stands 106 is. There stand 106. That's where we're going to start out. And that is where Ryanair 186 is waiting for us, all fueled up and ready for us to start, to load and then to fly over to Madeira. Are you ready? Then let's go. Ah, oh, there you are. Come on in, take your seat, buckle up, and let's get ourselves ready to fly over this little part of the Atlantic to the island of Madeira. And just in case you were wondering, this is not an ETOPS flight. So, since this does not qualify for ETOPS, we are well, well within the normal range of a one hour flight with one engine to the nearest land. We've got no problem with that. So no ETOPS regulations on this flight. So, right. Oh, and by the way, I was asked to move the central camera that's uh, this camera right here to move it a little bit over to the side uh, apparently it will give a better view of the runway during takeoffs and landing so i've moved it so please tell me if you think that the camera positions are all right or whether or not they need to be adjusted i actually have four cameras in the cockpit I've got one which is overhead and what it does is it looks at the FMC screen for when I'm putting in the data. I have that one. I have this one back here to show the other direction and the center one which is the main camera. So if you have any questions about this or any suggestions about moving the cameras please let me know okay all right i'm adjusting my seat ah, i've got my sandals on today ready for uh, uh the wonderful beaches of madeira how about that that's that is what you call positive thinking all right Turn on the batteries, 
turn on the fuel pump and let's start the APU by the way if you look directly in front of us you can see that we are at stand 106 and it gives us the actual geographic coordinates of this location it also says that we are 331.8 feet above mean sea level wow so that's going to make it easy when we want to put in our location right coming up ah oh, there's the blue light i've now switched on to the generators coming from the auxiliary power unit so now i can turn on the galley turn on the irs and to align to align them no smoking fasten seat belts emergency exit lights and then over here the window heat probe left and right hydraulic pumps the forward service hatch light is on and the air stairs the equipment is down so that's showing we'll turn on the bleed for the APU and then you can hear the rush of air ah that's great that is air conditioning and that's what we need today because it is quite warm outside we're already loaded with fuel they were doing that while we were doing our pre-flight planning so we're ready to start with the rest let's go ahead now and put in the position and we are at LPPT so LPPT put that right there we'll put in gate 106 to see if it's in the database and it is now we'll check this coordinate with the one directly in front well 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 and 00978 that's exactly correct so what we'll do is we will simply push that that puts it into the temporary memory and then we will enter it into there we have now put our position in place now we go to the root origin is L P P T destination is L P M A we are flight number Ryanair RYR 186 and we go down to the next page and here's where we put in the flight route straight from the routing in our flight plan so our first port is Gansu so G A N S U then we go direct to Nata N A R T A then we go direct to Rolar R O L A R and then we go direct to Lidro L I D R O and then we activate that and we're set at that point now for our departure we are pretty much certain that it's going to be 03 but just to be on the safe side let's tune into the ATIS here and what they're telling us is the active runway so Lisbon ATIS is 124.15 Lisbon airport information pop-up 1229 Zulu wind 332 at 13 visibility greater than 20 miles sky condition clear temperature 27 dew point altimeter 141018 Landing and departing runway 3, VFR aircraft say direction of flight. All aircraft read back hold short instructions. Advice controller on initial contact you have. Papa. Papa. And it looks like runway 3 is the one it's going to be. So we'll put runway 3 in there. And we'll be using the Gansu 5 North. That's this one. So we'll execute that. Go back to approaches and departures. We're going to be coming in on 
our nav Zulu 05 and we're going to be using the Lidro 1P. So Lidro 1P, put that in and the transition is filling. And execute that. Now we'll go to the legs and we'll see whether or not the flight plan is going to actually work out. So we'll step through this looking for any root discontinuities. So far so good. And there, incidentally, you can see where it's at the MA522 is 160 and 2000. So that's the speed and altitude that they want us at at that point. And we have a good route all the way through. Very good. Well, I'm happy with that. Okay, now we'll put the fix in. And that is LPMA, and we want 4 mile radius, 10 mile radius, and a 30 mile radius. Now we'll go to the descent, go to the forecast, and we'll put in the information for these three altitudes. Flight level 200, 150, and 100. The altimeter at our destination is 1020. So we'll put that in. And then going to our flight plan, we will go to the descent information and at 200 we are going to encounter 239 de degrees at 44, so 239 at 44, and then 243 at 34, and at 100 it is 243.20. and execute that. Now we'll go in and perform the initialization. Now the planned fuel for today, we have block fuel is 9,247, the reserves are 3,600, the trip and the taxi should take 4,977. So that's um, 3600, 4977 comes to 8577 or 8.5, close enough. So 8.5 is going to be the plan. 3.6 is the reserve. And then all I have to do is double click on the zero fuel weight and the computer, onboard computer, will calculate the information. Cost index is 6. Our cruise altitude is 290. And the cruise wind is going to be 239 at 47. Transition altitude, do you remember? That's right, 5,000 feet, put that in, and execute that. N1 limit, there's 27 degrees here in Lisbon. My goodness me, look at the sky. I should be out there getting a suntan, or a freckle. <laughs> That's more like it for me, I'll get a freckle. Takeoff, we'll be using flaps 5, it's a long runway. I double click on the center of gravity and the computer calculates everything for me. And it says the center of gravity is 24.9%, the trim is 4.79. And here's the V1, the rotation speed, and there is V2. 
Right, I'm going to put in over here 29,000 feet for the flight altitude. I'm going to put in 150 feet for the landing altitude. And uh, oh, yes, all of our passengers are on board enjoying their first complimentary glasses of champagne. So we'll bring the stairs up and close the forward hatch. And we'll check this to make sure. Let's see, 149 we need on here. Setting the course for 26 is our actual heading when we're going down runway 03. So let's see whether this, there's a green and there's a green we have a good flight plan. It's working out. And turn on the yaw damper. Good. We are all set. Well, now we just need to get our clearance, our IFR clearance. So I'll tune in to the ground and request our IFR clearance, okay? Lisbon ground, Ryanair 186, ready to copy IFR clearance to Madeira. Ryanair 186 is cleared to Madeira Airport as filed. Fly runway heading, climb and maintain 13000 departure frequency as 119.1 squat 1073. Ryanair 186, cleared to Madeira Airport as filed. Fly runway heading, climb and maintain 13000 departure on 11 one, minor point one, score 1073. Ryanair 186, rip back is correct. Contact ground on 118.95 when ready to taxi. Lisbon ground, Ryanair 186, with a part ready to taxi, IFR. Ryanair 186, taxi to and hold short of runway 3 via taxiway Alpha 1, Mike 1, Mike 2, Mike 3, Mike 4, Zulu 3, Mike 5, contact tower on 118.1 when ready. Taxi hold short runway 3 using taxiway Alpha 1, Mike 1, Mike 2, Mike 3, Mike 4, Zulu 3, Mike 5, Ryanair 186. Well, we have our clearance and we have our permission to do a pushback to start and to tax it to the active so everybody's good doors are closed everything is checked let's just do a quick check before start fuel bumps all on windows locked seatbelt signs are on door lights out mcp is all set takeoff thrusts and everything is set Speeds V1, VR are all set. CDU pre-flight is completed. Rudder airline trim is free and zero. Taxi and takeoff briefing is complete. Anti-collision light is on. So, we are ready now to do this start. So we'll ask the nice people to give us the pushback and we want our nose to go to the left and our tail to the right. So, nose to the left, turn degrees, 90 degrees, select the tug. And, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to ask the nice people down below and this fellow to give us the pushback. Cockpit to ground. And we'll start engine number one today. So I'm going to switch to generator one. Copy that, ready for push tail right. Police brake brake please. Parking brake is off. Brakes released. Here we go. All right, we're getting pushed back. So I'm switching, turning off the air conditioning to give all of the compressor power to the engines for to start the engines. So I've 
starting engine number one, the start valve open light has gone on. I'm looking for 24 on the N2, and then I've introduced the fuel. We're looking at the engine gas temperature, watching to make sure that we get a, a good start there. We should hear the, whoa, that was interesting, and an aircraft coming right in on us. And 115 volts is, uh, there's the engines, 115 volts switching to engine number two, and starting engine number two, the start valve is open. I'm watching the build up on the N2 until it gets to 24. Pushback complete, please. Parking brake is on. Brake set. And 24, putting on the fuel. And building up. We're looking to make sure that the engine gas temperature is building up. And looking up, the low pressure light has turned off, so we are looking good. And we should hear the engines. Yep, there's the engines looking for 115 volts here. There it is. And switching the, oh, look at that. Ah, forget about kamikaze vehicles. Look at that, a kamikaze aircraft. Just cut right through me. And they're trying to get out to the active runway before me. Oh well. Anyway, now I'm going to go and switch to the generators coming off the main engines. Turning on the air conditioning again. Turning off the APU. So now we're running on strictly the main engine's power. Everything is looking good. All right. So, after start generators are on, check. And got that, probe heats on, anti-ice is not needed, isolation valve auto closed, stop lever is on idle D10, flight deck closed recall and check flight controls check flaps flaps five green lights stabilizer trim is auto brake is rto speed brake lever down detent ground equipment clear and we are set to taxi So, oh, and there's another one. You know, these orbit airlines, they just don't care about people. Ha! Huh. All right, well, there's the route. We better get going before we have any more problems here. So, brakes off. Attendance, we're getting ready to move. Give a little boost in power to get ourselves unstuck here. And essentially, we're just going to follow that fellow. This is a busy airport. By the way, the airport scenery is done by MK Studios. It is really very detailed. Even to the grass, as you can see here, and the kamikaze buses 
and the kamikaze aircraft. <laughs> Lots of kamikazes. And we're crossing a runway here, so look left, look right, we're clear. And in case you're wondering, the frame rate for my three screens on the external computer, which is Flight 2, as that computer, I am now 39, 40, 41, 39, so average is 40 frames per second. Not bad at all. Well, there's going to be a little bit of a queue to get up there. Lisbon is a busy airport. Even at the best of times is a busy airport. There's a lot of traffic that goes in and out of Lisbon. So we're going to have to keep our eyes open for incoming traffic. So with 40 frames per second on the main external views and on the main computer, which is flight one, it is 19, 18, 18 or 19 frames per second, but then I'm running seven monitors on this. Well, while we're waiting, I'm going to go ahead and put the barometric altitude in for 500 feet for our decision height. And that will be the decision height when we get to Madeira. Well, everything is looking good so far. Ah, there's a kamikaze vehicle. Why don't you go get him instead of me? Why pick on me? There's one taking off. Runway 3, altimeter. You 
stay there. Fly straight in runway three, American Pacific one one seven. I better move up here because he, I think he's wanting to try to cut in front of me. I can't believe these people. Two of them cut not just in front but right there. American Pacific 117 clear to land runway 3 follow the Omidia Legion on final. And here's the aircraft on final. Three American Pacific 117. the bombardier coming in to land. There is another one out there somewhere. Right, we have 
of our clearance. American Pacific 117 taxi to General Aviation Parking via taxiway Papa Foxtrot Golf 1 Romeo 1 with Delta. Taxi into position and hold. Taxi to General Aviation Parking using taxiway Papa Foxtrot Golf 1 Romeo 1 Whiskey Delta American Pacific 117. World Travel 284 continue taxi. Lisbon Brown World Travel Minor 328 IFR2 Castro ready to copy. World Travel Niner 328 is cleared to Castro Airport as filed. Fly runway heading. Climb and maintain. Niner Thousand departure frequency at 119.1 squat 0321.
little bit of a long trip to get out to Madeira. So why don't you go and enjoy some of that champagne and caviar that they're serving in the uh, tourist cabin back of us. And uh, when we get to our final approach fix coming in, I'll give you a call and then you can join me back in the cockpit. How does that sound? Okay? All right. Start. 
starting to fall off and we are just passing through 5200 feet
going to need to be very busy.
6 Taxi to Gain 5 via Taxiway Alpha. Taxi to Gain 5 using Taxiway Alpha Ryanair 186. Right, we're cleared to Gate 5. And begin clean up. Seatbelt signs. Crew can go to work. So let's find gate five. All right, it's down there. And here's 13. We are now on APU power. Cleanup is complete. Passengers are rushing off to go through into the duty free. <laughs> Why not? Okay, so looks good. And turn off the IRS. Everything is off. Okay, now let's. And battery off. Shutdown is complete. Well there you are. We managed. We came in. That wasn't a bad landing though was it? And I managed to stay away from all of the terrain and so didn't trigger all the terrain warnings. I was wondering whether or not the cloud was going to build up and give me some problems for landing but it didn't. We had a perfectly good visual approach and landing and the kamikaze buses are already gathering go find someone else <laughs> well Tomas Cordero that was an interesting approach thank you for the suggestion and we'll join you the next time on Ryanair 186